So five years ago, in Grain Store 1, we built the tie silencer. And then two years ago, in Grain Store number two, we built this, the trebuchet. But at the end of the video, the weight came down and hit the frame, which you'll see now. No, we've broke the trebuchet. And when it came down, it shattered the bearings. So we're going to replace the bearings and get this thing up and running again. So let's go and have a look around it first. So this is the trebuchet, sort of been dumped around by the straw on the side here. So it's all it's not going too rusty because it has been painted. Tires are all still good. These big BKT flotation tires. It is on 10 stud commercial axles, ADR axles, and up in the top, it has got ADR six stud stud axles. And by name, some of the weights look that we were firing. This is the, uh, what was holding the strap on, on here. And then the other bit of strap went on here that obviously came off and released. And when it broke, it bent this where the bearings collapsed as well. It actually shattered the uh, casing. The bearings themselves were all right, but it was the casing that broke. And, oh look, a bit of water in there, so I need to drill a hole in the bottom of this because it's completely sealed at the moment. And we've got a bit of growth as well. This is the bar, it's got some limestone in here, about two and a half ton. We could probably fill this all the way to the top if we wanted, so it'd give it some more power, but it makes it quite difficult lifting the weight up to fire it. Just here, look. See it crack the casing, so we're going to take them out. We need to try and bend this back so that we can um, re put it all back together. And for the time being, I'm going to have this right up in the air and have it as a flagpole. Colin will be pleased. So, first thing, how do we move it? Because it has got no steering. So, we we'll get the tractor up, hooked onto it. Still got my name welded on the drawbar, look. I welded all this on. So what we do, we'll pick it, it picks it up on the drawbar and it lifts the front end off the floor and then it sort of just pivots on, it pivots just on the back look. See look, front wheels are now off the floor. All right, off you go. God, it is big, this thing is. And this thing is pretty powerful. Let me show you, we pulled an engine out of a car with it. It tore the engine and the gearbox from its engine mounts and pulled the exhaust in half as well. All right, we'll put it down there. And we can take these Strymec bits off and uh, take the weight off and get that bent back. Just gonna take the weight off. You see it's still quite heavy. And round we go. Is she gonna come out? Come on. Had to wait, it got, sort of got wedged in there when it all uh, collapsed. It's quite heavy, look. And this is six ton lift JCB. Comes. Oh, what we'll do, we'll put it on the ground around the other side. It's got the JCB Q fit brackets on it, so we can pick it up. I'm going to tip that round like that, and then hopefully that bit is bent, which is going to bend it back and then reinforce it with some plate because it's all welded inside. It's going to be quite a bit of a tricky to try and get out. Yeah, she's full of water in here, look. That one's taken out. Right, we're just going to push it down, bend it back. That's it, going easy. Oh, water coming out. And that is bending back. A tiny bit more. Whoa! Oh. Tiny bit too much, but I'm going to have to reinforce these here. 
So just going up now to get to that shaft up there. Have you subscribed YouTube Colin Furs? If you want to see the build video, go to his channel and have a look. Want to see the firing video, go to the channel and have a look. It's all very good. Looks like there's been a bird sat in here. All these look like they're still tight. Everything is still good. Everything is still tight. Oh! Oh, Colin, you didn't tighten it up, look. That could have been very dangerous. Oh, the whole thing's spinning. Let's tighten that up as well. So I have just measured it whilst I'm up here. So we're about seven meters to this point here. This then from here to there is about eight meters. And then the strap, which goes from there down to there is about no, another eight meters. So the firing height of this whole thing is about 24 meters high, which you can see here, because it does fire stuff for miles. Now this is one of the first firing videos. Look how high it's gone. I know it's quite difficult to see, but look, it's fired it miles on the first ever attempt we had with this thing. We've had a bird sat here as well, look. So this is what happened. Shaft's still inside there, but the bearings out of that bit down there are still here, look. So if we undo this, this shaft should pull out. We've got a bit of damage this side, so we're gonna have to replace all these bearings. So it has done quite a bit of damage when it uh, dropped the bits. So we'll take this out, take this bright round shaft up, clean it up, take it down, and try and put it back together. Don't really justify how high it is up here, because look, this bit here is the height of this roof. It's, um, <laughs> it's tall, it's very tall. Just taking the old bearings out, and look, they're completely wrecked. Got new bearings here from Simply Bearings, thank you very much. They're ready to go in there proving a bit more difficult to get out. The shaft won't come out, even though we tried, it still spins. So I have to nick it with a grinder and we're gonna to have to smash the bearing and then get it on the bench and grind it all up. Well, not grind it, Henry cross it up, tidy it up. Having to smash it to get it off, look. And with a bit of open end, she is out. There we are. Get some grease. Get these grease nettles just here, look. Pull that off. There we are, all new bearings, shaft all cleaned. Right, I'm going to try and put the weight on. Up we go. Not sure if it's going to go on because this arm here should be that side, and that's the way it fell that side. And I don't know any other way of trying to flip it over. It's so big. But it wouldn't fit because that bar there is in the way of this bit because that arm should be round that way. And I can't get it up and over back that way, so I've had to use a 12 meter to lift that up there. I've got 560 80. I'm going to try and again and get that bit back on there, and then hopefully I'll take this off and I'll take that off and it'll flip itself back around to where it needs to be. It's quite difficult to try and get this right. There we go. Oh, go up a little bit. And we should be there. So we've got it all bolted all back up, nearly there. Now I've got to move this one around here and put the pallet tie under there. So when I take this one out, I can slowly let the weight down or else it'll just go Whoa, bang and smash it again, I should think. And now I've got my legs down. So I've got to boom it out quite far. Put that pallet tie on under there to hold it. She is under. Now I can take this one out. Now should be able to drop this one down onto that pallet tine. Come on. Oh. Back up. Oh, we are off. We are ready to go down. Is it gonna And it goes, and let the, let the weight go. And I 
up it goes again. Just sitting there swinging in the wind. So there we have it. Don't forget to subscribe to me. And also as well, go check out Colin's channel. I'm sure many of you already have. Can't even see it, look. Go and watch the build video, the testing video, and then the destruction video of all throwing everything everywhere. It was brilliant. So let's get it backed over here, back in its home. It's surprisingly easy to reverse as well. Now we'll park it next to these bales for the winter. I've taken all the ballast out of there, so it's just sort of swinging about. When it used to be full of ballast, it used to just sit there perfectly. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm sure I'll see you very soon in the next video. And don't forget, subscribe.